Hello friends, welcome to Crack Gate CSE and in this series of database today we will be practicing some previous year gate questions on minimization of ER diagram. So, so far we have completed so many uh, questions or we have did so many examples on which we tried to minimize the ER diagram but here we are talking about a different case when multi-valued attributes are present. So this was a question which came in gate 2004 and after solving this particular question we will be seeing some variations. So these two practice problems are the variation of this previous year gate questions. So we will be discussing that only. So before starting this video I would like to request you all please subscribe the channel if you have not subscribed till now and press the bell icon so that you can get an update whenever I am uploading any new video. So now let's start with this first question. So consider the following ER diagram when two entities E1 E2 are given and have a relationship of R of cardinality 1 to M. So this ER diagram was given with the cardinality as 1 to M. So the attribute of E1 are A11, A12 and A13 where A11 is key. So let me show you that I draw the ER diagram. So this was given and they said that A11, A12 and A13 are the attribute of E1 and where A11 is key. So I did that. The attribute of E2 are A21, A22 and A23. Right? Where a21 was key so I considered A21 as key and A23 is a multi-valued attribute so A23 is a multi-valued attribute relation R does not have any attribute so R is not having any attribute a relational database containing minimum number of tables with each table satisfying the requirement of 3NF that means we have to find the minimum number of tables that are satisfying the 3NF condition right so we have to uh, we have to tell that how many minimum number of tables are required if we decompose the ER diagram if we convert the ER diagram or minimize the tables in such a way that every table satisfying the condition of 3 and F. So let's check the solution. So here I draw the ER diagram first. So after drawing this particular ER diagram you can see that here I am having a multi-valued attribute. So this is a new question for us right. So how we can solve that? If there is one to many relationship, we already know that we can merge R into the many side, right? This was already told you. So these are the functional dependencies for each of these three tables. So uh, before decomposition, before minimizing, there will be three tables: one for E1, one for R, one for E2. So in E1, A11 is a key, right? That means A11 will be defining A12 and A13. So this is the functional dependency here. For R, we will be considering the key of both of the table that means A11 and A21 and the key will be from many side. Why? Because E2, every record of E2 is related with only one record that means all values of A21 will be unique in this R. So A21 will be key. So here A21 is considered as a key. Similarly in E3, there are three attributes and A21 is given as key that means A21 is uh, able to define A22 and A23. So I am doing the same thing here. Now the question is we can minimize it in this side. So we are minimizing or merging these two tables into one. So when we are merging these two tables into one what will be the different attributes A21, A22, A23 and this A11 will be extra because we are merging these two tables into one. So I did that. Now what will be the functional dependency? A21 is defining A11 also, A22 also. So this functional dependency is same. Next is A21 is multi-valued attribute or multi-valued dependency which is defining A23. Right? Now here you can see one thing that the candidate key. If you try to find out the candidate key, this is a multi-valued dependency. So when you are trying to find out the candidate key, you do not generally consider these multi-valued dependencies right because these multi-value dependencies has been considered in four rf generally right so we have to check the right hand side in right hand side i am getting one a22 and a11 that means this and this i am not getting this and this that means a key should have these two attribute in it that means the candidate key will be a21 and a23 and if this is the case now you can see that here they ask you for the 3nf Right? 
सो हेयर इफ यू चेक द हाइस्ट नॉर्मल फॉर्म इट विल बी वन एन एफ बिकॉज इट इज नॉट टू एन एफ वॉट इज टू एन एफ दैट मीन्स इफ एनी सबसेट ऑफ दिस इज डिफाइनिंग एनी नॉन प्राइम एट्रीब्यूट देन इट विल बी पार्शल डिपेंडेंसी एंड इफ पार्शल डिपेंडेंसी एक्सिस्ट दैन द रिलेशन इज नॉट इन टू एन एफ सो हेयर यू कैन सी दैट द सबसेट ऑफ दिस इज ए टू वन सो दिस इज ए टू वन ए टू वन इज डिफाइनिंग ए टू टू सो ए टू टू इज अ नॉन प्राइम एट्रीब्यूट सो द सबसेट ऑफ की इज डिफाइनिंग नॉन प्राइम एट्रीब्यूट दैट मीन्स पार्शल डिपेंडेंसी एक्जिस्ट सो द रिलेशन इज नॉट इन टू एन एफ सिमिलरली इट इज नॉट इन थ्री एन एफ ऑल्सो बिकॉज इट इज इन इट इज नॉट इन टू एन एफ राइट सो नाउ वॉट वी हैव टू डू इज वी हैव टू डिकम्पोज इट इन टू टू डिफरेंट टेबल्स सो दैट वी मेक श्योर दैट द टेबल्स आर इन थ्री एन एफ बिकॉज वी हैव वी नीड टू वी नीड टू फाइंड आउट द मिनिमम नंबर ऑफ टेबल्स for 3 nf right so if they ask you the minimum number of tables required for a relation to be in 1 nf then the solution will be 2 one will be this one will be this but if they ask you about the 2 nf and 3 nf that means what is minimum number of tables required for 2 nf and 3 nf then we have to decompose it in two different tables how we can decompose the thing which is violating the case we have to take it in a separate table so here you can see that i am taking a21 a22 and a11 in one table that means these three attributes in one table and if i keep these three attribute in one table this particular dependency is here now if you check there is no subset possible for this similarly here you can see that this is a multi value attribute so it will not violate the case of 2nf 3nf and bcnf right because it will be considered in 4nf so here now it satisfy the 2nf 3nf and bcnf also so that's why we have decomposed it this will be same right because here we are not having any such problem so this a21 because we decompose this re2 relation into two parts so this a21 will be working as a foreign key which will be referring to this a21 so one foreign key is required here next is this a11 this a11 will be referring to this a11 so this is also one foreign key so therefore we can say that minimum tables required for 2nf 3nf and bcnf is 3 and number of foreign key required is 2 but here they asked you the minimum number of tables in the database so 3 will be the right answer right so i hope you got an idea that how it works now here the multi valued attribute here the multi valued attribute are on the many side what if it is on the one side so if it is on the one side then it will create some problem now this is the variation of this particular question so let's see that variation too so this is the given er diagram i just already drawn it so here you can see that there is one more multi valued attribute on the one side also on the one side also now first of all i am just trying to i just joined this r and e2 into one table right in r you know that a11 and a21 will be there so a11 will be merged with this particular table so what i did here a11 is merged the functional dependency for this will be a11 will be defining a12 and a11 will be multi value dependency defining one a13 similarly here a21 is defining a22 and a11 because a11 is merged this is the functional dependency of r and a21 is multi value dependency which is defining a23 now here you can see that here there will be one issue so if you check for 1nf right so this a11 will be referring to this a11 but here you can see that this a11 is not a key because this is a multi valued attribute multi value dependency so we will not considering it when we are searching for the candidate key so in the right hand side we can get a12 but a13 is not there because we are not considering this one so a13 should be in the candidate key so the candidate key will, will be a11 and a13 right so if a11 and a13 is a key a11 is referring to a11 so it is not a key so this is a wrong design so what we have to do we have to decompose this particular relation into two sub table or two sub relation 
where I will be keeping the attributes which are in this in one table and this are in another table. So if I decompose it like this, so A11 A and A12 is in this table, A11 and A13 is in this table and this A11 is now referring to this A11. So here you can see this, now this is a key because it is defining this and this is a multi-valued attribute. So this is a functional key, uh, foreign key. Now it is okay. And if you check this, this is already in 1NF, right? So if they are asking that how many minimum number of tables required for this particular ER diagram and to be in 1NF, then 3 will be answered. 1 table, 2 table, 3 table and 2 foreign keys. One is this A11 referring to this A1. Another is this A11 will also be referring to this A1. That means for 1NF. three tables required and two foreign keys are required but if they are asking for 3nf 2nf or bcnf if they are asking for any other so similarly we can see like in the previous one we discussed that it is not in 2nf because of partial dependency it is not in 3nf also right so convert it into 2nf and 3nf by decomposing it. So how we can decompose it? We will be decomposing it into two different tables. So we will be considering this in one table and this in one table. So a21, a22 and a11 will be in one table and here let me show it here. Here we will be having a21 and a23. So the functional dependency which will be here is a21 will be defining a22 and a11 and a21 is multi-valued functional dependency which is defining a23 right so now you can see that there is no such violation and this a21 will be referring to this a21 so this is one foreign key and this a11 will be referring to this a11 so if they are asking for 2nf 3nf and BCNF. Minimum number of tables required are 1, 2, 3, 4, 4 tables and how many keys? This one is one key, this one is another key. Two keys and this A11 will be further referring to this. So total three keys, three foreign keys are required, right? So this is how you can answer the variation, right? I hope you got how it is working. Now let's see one more question when there is a, a self-referential entity set or self-referential relationship set is given. So in this particular case, I already explained you that if there is one to many relation, this is one, this is many. If there is one to many relationship, we can merge it into a table. Right? So if we merge it into a table, then what will be the attributes, right? So these are will be the attributes. So student R, that means I am merging the student with R. Attribute will be SID, S name, email, along with this SID. Sorry, this SID2 will be same as this SID. This SID1 is another attribute that we have to consider, right? Because this one is left out. So we will be considering this as a another attribute. Now if I, I am having these four attribute and now if you try to find out the functional dependency. So what will be the functional dependencies? See this is a key. This is defining S name. Right. And we are considering this one also. That means SID will also define this one. So SID is defining S name and SID both. This is a multi-valued attribute. So SID will be defining email. Right. Now, if you check here that we are finding the minimum number of tables required for one RF. So here this SID will be referring to this SID, this SID1 will be referring to this SID. So this is a foreign key. But this is not possible because this SID is not a key. If you consider these functional dependencies, then SID is not key because SID cannot determine the email because this is a multi-valued attribute and it is not generally considered up to BCNF, it is considered in 4NF only. So we will be decomposing it into two different tables like we did earlier. 
on the one table i am considering these functional dependencies in the other table i am considering these functional dependencies so if i did that here this way we have decomposed it now they are not creating any problems if they are asking for one nf minimum two tables are required right and how many functional keys two functional keys are required all right so if they are asking for one nf two tables and two foreign keys are required similarly if they are asking for two nf three nf and bc nf for any three you can see that this table is satisfying all these conditions this is a multi value attribute so it does not care about these particular things so for 2nf 3nf bsnf and 1nf two tables and two foreign keys are required so i hope you got an idea that how the things are working in the next video we will be discussing some more previous year gate questions to find out that how we can minimize or what are the different questions that can come in your exam right so if you found this particular video useful if you learn something this from this particular video like this video share it with your friends comment your feedback or suggestions in the comment box and in case if you are having any trouble and if you are facing any difficulty in any of the gate question whether from these or from any other uh, subject then you can just contact me on my facebook page or facebook group i will give you the link in the description you can check them and you can post your query onto those pages and i will be answering those queries over there so thank you very much for watching please subscribe if you have not done keep supporting keep learning have a great day